Welcome again to these videos. My name is Kamiya Simon Peter. And as you know, we've been doing videos about the MTN Momo API. And we've already started working about with the form application. Okay. And now today, we are seeing how do you get, give a user a response or get a response. So we're going to get this and then we save it to the database. Now, we're going to first send, send to the database a status pending. But how, how do we decode that response from a response that the MTN server has given us? Do not forget to like and subscribe. And do not forget that we are using Brian Matovo's app, Laravel app. So if you're using Laravel, you already have a tick. You need to always come here and give him a star, okay? He's also always available. You, so you just need to, if, in case you have an issue, you come to issues and then you put the issue and you'll solve it. Uh, uh, he's also available on the Momo app, on the Momo platform, uh, WhatsApp group. You will find him there. Okay, so let's proceed. So we want to give, uh, take for example, Okay, so this is the amount. Okay, let me continue shopping and add something to my to my cut. Okay. All right, so this is the total amount, which is forty-one thousand. Okay, so we want uh, uh, after checking, after entering the number and what we want to get the number from the server, you know. Uh, okay, the response today we're looking just at the response from the server. So when you choose to buy items Okay We need you to inform the the user that please enter your mobile pin so that they look at their phone and uh, On this number so that they look at their phone and they enter their mobile Pin all right, so how do we do that? And that's what we're doing today All right, so the first thing we're going to do uh, do not forget that we're using the die dump too all right so oh okay so the first thing we're going to do i already wrote the code here so i'm going to go to it step by step okay all right so i'm just commenting it out so remember in our previous lesson we got the response okay we got the response what have i okay all right so we got the response which which i put in a variable called the response message and i die dumped all right so when i die dumped that is dd i get a json response so this is a json th this is a json array it's already json decoded for us okay now in the json decode we have these items the first item is the external id which which is the identification you gave that um, for example the 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 person who is purchasing and what item they are purchasing and so that's like the the, the id for that transaction okay and then the amount and then the currency and then this is also vital the payer how do we get to know the payer okay the payer's number and then the status so most people are supposed to get this uh were asking so much about the status so already this is json decoded uh, according to the die dump so we're going to come back here all right so we get now this response message okay and we input it into a variable now we get in the variable so the variable is the response message and inside the response message we want to get the item that is the status and which is a string so as you can see here the status so the item into this variable down here okay there is a variable in the middle uh, that it belongs to the pair but then we have this okay and the status right now is pending so what do we do okay so we're going to get that so all right, so I'm going to die dump that. So remember, this is already JSON. So we are not JSON decoding. So remember, we are using Brian Matov's app in Laravel. He already did most of the things for us. All right, so I'm going to die dump the token object. 
that is called status okay and we see what response we get all right so i come back and refresh okay so this you see the status we get is pending and that's what uh, that's what we we want to save to the database at the moment all right so um then who is paying all right so the first thing we're going to do remember when i come back to my first die dump here we have two arrays we have the main array and an array inside the main array okay so you see we have a second array here this is array two okay so when i drop down that is where there is the party id of the person who is paying okay so we want to just send the code to see who is paying ah, sorry we want to get who is paying so um after getting the status okay so we're going to just send the code now the payer okay so the payer array so we're going to just send the code for so i've given it a, a variable called token b all right so i'm going to just send the code that so if i refresh token b so i'll get that array which array is the payer array all right so inside the payer array we have the party id which is the person that we're paying to and the person who is paying okay so we're going to get the party id so i'm going to create another variable called token c and i get now i point to inside the payer array i point to the party id so i'm going to die dump token c all right and then i come here and i refresh okay so you can see it is giving us a party id now if i have those it means now you know how even to get the for example the what the person the, the, the amount that that person is paying okay so what could be the amount here's the amount for example i can say that dollar amount or dollar paid amount paid amount okay is equal to all right so response and then what is the amount okay so let me first die dump that and i see uh, where the amount is pointed to okay it's called amount all right so all right so i just need to come here and choose amount okay so if i die if i die dump paid amount okay and then come and refresh here okay you see it's giving us the amount so now we already know the status that we're getting and we save we need to save that to the database but i want to show you how you run your conditions now after getting to know um the 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 amount or the status or whatever you want to know so what we're going to do we're going to create an if condition so what is the if condition so it is that if this eh, the status so remember this is the variable for the status is equal to pending okay then what should you do you let the customer know that they are they need to enter their mobile money pin for that number so remember that that number is given here in the payer okay, in the in, in the payer and then payer id so which is token c all right you can even give them the amount mm? so i'm going to concatenate there and then i type for amount okay then i concatenate i'm going to put a space again i concatenate for amount which amount is here in paid amount all right so i do that okay so if the status is that then this should be this this is a message that the the user should see else all right so else if the status is equal to failed okay 
or token expired i don't know what message it gives hmm? then what should the the viewer see okay so the viewer should see that the transaction has failed okay that transaction has failed okay so they are seeing this on your app okay and you're also using these responses to determine all right so they are seeing this on your app and you're also using these responses to determine what you should save on the database what they will see otherwise mtn already did its job at this moment which job is to give you the status about the their customers payment credentials and whatsoever concerning whatever they are paying paying right now all right so i'm going to come here and refresh okay so the status is still pending and this is the amount so please enter your mobile pin for that and that for that amount all right so i'm going to give it some time and then i see what will it echo if the status has failed and that time is usually one minute to five minutes <laughs> 